Mika is on the minds of many people here in South Florida, especially here in South Florida with the outbreak now ground zero. In addition to Zika, viruses around the globe such as Ebola, chikungunya, dengue, and West Nile, they're also on the rise. All these viruses live in animals but are becoming a problem for people. It's called spillover. Joining us now to talk about what's behind the rise of these spillover infections and a new PBS documentary, Dr. Jonathan Epstein with the Eco Health Alliance. So thanks so much for joining us. Can you explain to us what experts mean when they say spillover? Sure, and thank you for having me. When we talk about spillover, we're really referring to a category of diseases that exist in animal populations, typically wildlife, that make their way into people, uh, whether it's directly or via mosquito bite or perhaps uh, into livestock. There could be spillover from wildlife into livestock and then livestock into people. So it's really making that jump from animals into people. So but why are we seeing more of a rise in these infections? I mean, just a few years ago, Zika was never spoken out loud. Right. Now all of a sudden we can't stop saying it. Yeah, the truth is we're in an unprecedented time in history where we are seeing more and more outbreaks related to spillover, diseases jumping from animals into people, like Ebola in West Africa and Central Africa, uh, like Zika virus, like if you remember SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome uh, in 2002. These are viruses that start out in any part of the world, making their way into people, and then because of travel, they spread easily around the globe. And the reason it happens, by and large, is human activity human behavior. It's us uh, cutting into forest. It's us hunting animals and having contact with wildlife in ways we haven't before or in fact are doing it more than before. It's building farms next to forests where wildlife and livestock have the opportunity to make contact. And, and this is happening all over the world as human populations grow and we expand into new environments, new habitats. Tell us a little bit about the documentary that is going to be premiering on PBS. What you're going to see in this documentary are scientists, medical practitioners, uh, doctors working on the front lines of diseases like Ebola, like Zika virus, uh, another virus called Nipah virus, which is carried by bats. That's one that I work with. Really looking at spillover, how these viruses make their way into people, what the response is when there is a big outbreak, like with Ebola, and what we're doing now to get ahead of the curve, discover new viruses, and make sure that those don't become the next global pandemic. And obviously here in South Florida, doctor, we are very concerned about the Zika virus. As we know so far, all of the, the viruses contracted were limited to a one mile area in Miami, a small neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But in your opinion, what do you think the chances are of the Zika virus spreading to other areas? Well, there's no doubt that we're going to see. These are just the, the first instances of cases of local transmission. We already have travel-related cases of Zika virus uh, throughout the United States. People who have come back from travel or perhaps travelers who have come to the United States infected with Zika. And what we've seen in Florida now is local transmission, uh, somebody getting infected from a mosquito without having traveled anywhere. And we're no doubt going to see more of that either in Florida or in other parts around the Gulf Coast because we have cases that are active in Puerto Rico, throughout the Caribbean and South America. So, and we have the mosquito that spreads Zika virus throughout the southern United States and up the Atlantic coast. So um, this is not a surprise. This is something that public health officials are prepared for. And mosquito control is really going to be the single best thing we can do to help combat this. Dr. Epstein, thank you so much for joining us. And again, Spillover, Zika, Ebola, and Beyond prepare, premieres tomorrow night at 10 o'clock on PBS.